Hi, my name is Erica, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the screen tree icon. So, screen trees are very useful for visually organizing elements on your screen. So, you can basically have a group and then have little subgroups um, visually. So, it kind of organizes your information in a way where it's hierarchical. So let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Let's start off with going over a few examples of how we use screen trees within AppWord. So I have the notes app open and right here you can see our screen tree. So this is the main list of our organized notes. So you can see here it's very easily distinguishable whether or not these icons have children under them based on this little plus button here. So now I can easily expand this node of the tree here and you can see I have a bunch of child notes. So this is a very useful tool to organize our notes. So you can have notes within a folder, you can have folders within a folder. Um, so very, very useful here in this case. Now another case is within Help Viewer. So this app is just for showing different uh, help manuals for uh, different topics within AppWord. So these would be considered just the manual. And under the manual, you can see here we have chapters. So it's eas easily distinguishable based on the different icons as well. Um, but the layer in which it shows also is useful for organizing this information. And then within chapters, you also have topics. So you can see here, I think it's a very great way to organize complex um, things like this. So it's easy, you can easily get to the topic you want um, in this fashion. So let's go ahead and get started on how we actually use the screen tree. So I'm going to open up a little test app here. We're gonna go into screen design and I'm going to add in a screen tree object right here. And right now the styling isn't how I want it to be. So just really quickly, I'm going to uh, style this how we usually do. So I'm gonna pause it and come back. Okay, so I styled my screen tree. So um, I put a transparent background and then the four color of the tree, I just want it to be the label four color. Um, and then the border color, I changed to this gray frame border color. Uh, right here, border color, the frame border color rather than black. Um, so let's go ahead and get started on actually creating objects for this screen tree. So screen trees can use various objects as its source, but the easiest way we can implement a screen tree is with using a screen tree node object. So we're gonna add that in here. So I want my source then to be my parent dot dat, or sorry, dot. I'm actually going to rename this to node base. Sorry, spelled that wrong. <laughs> node, node base. Um, okay, so I want actually this as, I think that, Yes, so then node name will be, let's just call this base as well. Okay, so we set up our, our source. So now it's not showing up in the tree because by default include base is false, but if we set that to true, then we have our base. So let's just set that to true for now. Then I want to add little children of this node here. So what I can do is I can add children of this node. So another screen tree node, so same thing. I'm going to add it as a child. So I'm gonna call this, 
child one. And then I'm just gonna call the node name also child one. Add another one for child two. And then child two. Okay, so let's see if that's working. Okay, great. So now we have our main node right here. So this is just our singular um, base element. And then we have our two children. So this is just a very, very basic um, version right now. So maybe we want to style this a bit better. So let's have our main, um, main node have a, an icon. So there's two ways you can do this. Um, you can set an icon for each of the nodes. So image here, um, let me just do something like this. Okay, um, and then each of these could have its own image. So maybe just um, a singular cog. Okay, so maybe I want that to be a different color though to distinguish it. So then I can choose the four color. Oh, FA four color actually is what I want to do. So that way it only changes the image. Okay, and then maybe I want to use the same exact icon here, or maybe let's do something different just for variety. Um, let's just use the user cog. Um, and then I can also change that color as well. Maybe something like purple. Okay, so now you can see each of these nodes have its own icon, its own color, um, and then you can certainly do it that way. But let's say you want all of the children to have the same color and four color. What you can do then is there is an object called a screen tree attribute. So I'm actually gonna add these underneath the screen tree as a child. So I want this class name to be, let me just call it children. Then I can set all of the settings here so I can change my image here. Let's just use the user cog since that is more different than the first one. And I want the color now to be green. Okay, so we have that set up. Now what you can do is all of these, instead of having these uh, specific settings, what you can do is you can call this class name children. So you can see here that it changed to whatever I set for the attribute. So this class name just needs to match the class name for your attribute. So everything that has that class name will share this uh, setting here. Okay, so class name, children. Okay, so you can see here, it's a very simple way to uh, customize your screen tree. Um, and then you can even add a sub child here. Um, but that will be in another video, a more advanced version. So here is your very simple demo of how to use a screen tree. So as you can see from the tutorial and the examples, a screen tree is very useful within AppWord. We use it in a couple different apps um, and it's a great way to kind of target the information you want to see right away rather than clicking around and searching for that topic somewhere. So uh, I hope this demo was helpful, and if you have any other questions about AppWord, please visit our website at appword.com, or you can check out our other videos on your YouTube page. Thanks for watching.